I'd like to, good evening everybody, uh, I'd like to open up uh, tonight's proceedings before we get started. We only have one hearing, but there's a public comment section uh, of the program. Does anybody in the audience, our three members, have anything, any comments that have uh, nothing to do with what we're about to talk about tonight? <laughs> if you do, raise your hand. No? If not, we'll jump right in. Our first hearing is for a special permit amendment by Melinda Shaw and Margaret Merrigan to alter a flag lot line at 355 to 367 Rocky Hill Road, Florence Map ID 37-121, as published on February 12th and the 19th. And if somebody could come up and give us a quick presentation. Can you hear me? Yeah. We can. Okay. Um, I guess our surveyor isn't here. Um, do you, you. My name is Melinda Shaw. Do you, you must have the information there. So basically what it is is that when we purchased the house uh, the lines were sort of unclear and uh, our driveway was actually part of the land in the front of us, so the property in front of us. So um, we did a, a redraw of the lines and uh, gave them some of the land that we can't use because we can't access the land that hits the road since we have a flag lot. Um, so it's just a swap so that our driveway is actually on our property and they now have part of the woods that w are useless to us. So it's pretty basic. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, thank you. So and just a follow up, I mean I mentioned this in my staff report, but because it originally was a special permit for a flag lot and the lines are changing from that, that's what triggers the requirement for an amendment to the special permit. But they're still meeting the flag lot layout requirements with this adjustment. Mm -hmm. Why was a special permit required for the flag lot? Flag lots have always required a special permit because they're creating a smaller, um, a narrower frontage mm -hmm. going back to accessing land behind, so it's always been a special permit. <coughs> Any questions before we open it up to the limited public that we have here tonight? No? Mm -hmm. Anyone in our audience who has anything to say <coughs> about tonight's proceeding? No? Motion to close public hearing? So moved. Second. Second. <coughs> Second. Uh, any discussion? I do. Uh, <laughs> we approved the special permit amendment for Shaw and Merrigan at 355 to 367 Rocky Hill Road, Florence, map ID 37121. Any discussion? All in favor? Thank you. Short and sweet. Yeah, we, we like lots that have driveways that go. <laughs> um, so we, since we can't open the next one to continue till seven fifteen, I should have waited till ten. We can do the minutes and the other thing. Okay. Um, all right, we have two sets of minutes to <laughs> to look at. One for October 9th uh, that somehow slipped through the. Um, just look through and we get, yeah. and the other is February 12th, which is a little more recent. I'm sure everybody's read them. Mm -hmm. I have. I sent a minor correction to Carolyn on, on one of them, and I move so we, so we need a motion as amended. Separate for both of them. Can we approve them together? Yeah, um, I move we approve the minutes for um, October 9th, 2014, and February 12th, 2015, as amended. Favor. Okay. Two up, two down. And you have a, a another item. Um. Yes. So well, actually, uh, so the um, other item is. You, do you all remember just about a month ago? Might be in one of the sets of minutes. With uh, um. When the Emerson Way subdivision app, um, property owners came in for that amendment for the water line and the mm -hmm. pump station, um, there was a condition in that permit that required um, 
that the covenants be modified to reflect the maintenance requirements for these um, lines. Um, so when a modification to a subdivision occurs, um, there's a requirement, a statement required to be on the bottom of the decision that says that the planning board has found that none of the lot owners who have purchased the land are going to be um, essentially neg negatively affected by the land that they already purchased. So um, what that means is, so I can't put that statement on the, on the um, decision and have it recorded until the lot owners who already bought in sign off on these covenant changes. So um, since the statutory language specifically says the planning board has to um, determine that and make that statement, I'm asking ahead of preemptively sort of before they get the sign off that if we do get the signatures from the property owners about modifying the covenants, um, would you authorize me to go ahead and put that statement that you would find? And would that cure it for you? I mean, that was a condition of your permit anyway. Right. It just um, needs to be done before they record the actual decision. So um, instead of having them bring me the signatures and then waiting for the next planning board meeting, I thought I would present it to you all tonight. Mm -hmm. And then um, you guys can say yes, as long as you get the signatures, that you'd feel comfortable having that statement on the decision. This, this is saying that those who will buy will pay. Those who have bought don't have to pay. No, they are no, also right. responsible. They will pay. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's so we need to have. Right. That's what I was trying right. to. Right. So we need to have the people who already bought uh, sign in. Assume an unintended, uh, uh, unassumed. Right. That they. This is right. Exactly. So what will happen if they don't surrender? I don't know. I mean, I think that um, they have to find. Um, I don't know, it's curious. The thing is, it helps all of the owners, so you would think that they would right. um, be willing right. to sign is on. A downside for a and I don't think there's a whole lot of maintenance. I don't know what the cost ramifications are, but yes, I suppose it could be quite sticky. <laughs> how many, do you know how many, six, how many have sold? Aren't there about 10 houses? I was gonna say, there? it's probably about 10. That's I mean, I didn't really count them, but as I think about it, when right. I drove back <coughs> out there, I, I would more or less. Yeah. Hmm. That's cute because you can get one stubborn or unhappy individual, and that can. But that doesn't that that doesn't speak to the question that you yeah. that you asked. I right. mean, I'm sure there are ways to make it right. You know. Um, Do you want to vote, Carolyn? Yes. <laughs> I move that if the signatures are presented from the applicant that Carolyn be allowed to go ahead and move the permit forward uh, with the conditions. Second, Ann. Any discussion? Um, approved. Okay, there we go. I mean, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It was a condition anyway, so. Okay, still got two minutes. And I did put on the latest agenda, or sort of coming back to discuss the LED signs, but since we we're almost half down on the board, I don't think it really makes yeah. sense anyway to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll bring it back. We do have a meeting March 12th, um, and so we could either do it then or March 26th. No, that's the next. Okay. What else is on since we have a minute to what's up what's on the topic? Um, well, we might actually have, um, we'll probably bring you guys up to speed on our um, process for updating the Sustainable Northampton Plan and um, hiring a consultant. We, uh, we want to sort of get the ball rolling on certain elements for that update. Um, so we need to sort of group, get everybody together at the board and figure out um, a strategy and timeline. It's going to be much faster process because it's really just a plan update. Look at what we've accomplished. You know, do we need to tweak some things? And we're already doing it sort of section by section. But we'll, so I think we're going to try to present something on the 12th after the hearings or maybe before, I guess after the hearings. Okay. Well, Pulaski Park, we started to be worked on if winter ever gets over with. They still need to get their funding. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. They're going, they're going in front. Okay. Yeah. 
and uh, those are t two um, permit applications. <laughs> I'm not telling you for what. <laughs> okay. One's a minor, one's an amendment, the other one's, well, they're both technically amendments, but one of them's a big building, 41,000 square feet at Rock Ridge. Oh. Oh. That's, yeah. That's, uh, I heard something about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Carolyn, on the, on the Upper Ridge, I have duplicates of some of these. Does that make sense? Did they not get sorted out? One is a, was previously pr a pr uh, approved versus um, plan amendment. Thank you. Yes. On somebody's clock. Yes. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be uh, a, a quick open and then a push of, of an appeal of a hearing uh, to a date in April. Uh, slated for 7:15, we're going to open up an appeal of the Central Business Architectural Permit granted to Valley CDC by Garibaldi Associates LLC for property at 256 Pleasant Street, Northampton Map ID 32C-171 and 337. Um, the applicant would like to push the hearing, um, continue the hearing without opening it or discussing it to a date in April. Has that date been determined or no? Yeah, so there was initially um, Valley CDC couldn't make tonight. So we looked at, you know, everybody agreed to April 9th as the hearing date. So if you want to um, move that it gets continued to April 9th, we can do it right up at 7 o'clock if you want. Need a motion. Um, can can you again? I read through some of that, and most of it looked like architectural issues. So is the architectural committee here to? No, this is an appeal specifically. It goes to the planning board, and the board's jurisdiction is to determine whether there was an error in issuing the permit. Um, so since it was a CBAC permit, all of it is our our are about um, the guidelines, the architectural guidelines and the details, um, but you're charged with sort of looking at that and seeing if there was an error made in that decision. Okay. And it was understood that we weren't going to deal with it tonight. We haven't drawn you out unnecessarily. Um, <clears throat> I move we postpone the appeal of Central Business Architecture Permit granted to Valley CDC by Garibaldi Associates, LLC, for the property at 256 Pleasant Street, Northampton, Map ID 32C-171-337, until April 9th. At, at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. Second hand, any discussion? All in favor? What else? Ta-da. Can I hear a motion? 